everyone this is the Montre black today we're gonna react to Eckline pilots mega Godzilla into death battle let's watch the year was 1954 less than a decade after Japan was bombarded with the first atomic weapons the nuclear age had begun but one of these atomic weapons woke something up Godzilla this ginormous radioactive kaiju decimated Japan. Things look pretty bad until a scientist deployed a bomb strong enough to kill the monster. The Oxygen Destroyer, which does exactly what it says on the tin. Right, Dr. Serizawa's bomb could specifically target and destroy oxygen molecules, liquefying most living tissue. This weapon was so dangerous, Serizawa feared its very existence threatened the entire human race. So he went down martyr-style, taking out Godzilla and all knowledge of his weird bomb. All that remained was Godzilla's bones. Probably for the best. Still, a weapon like that might have come in handy when, a few decades later, another Godzilla showed up. <laughs> Turns out, Japan had been the target of many different types of kaiju for years, and had developed an anti-monster defense force to combat them. Unfortunately, their super powerful phaser cannons barely even scratched this new Godzilla. I just look at him. I didn't even care. Like the oxygen destroyer before, Japan needed a new weapon to combat Godzilla. They gathered their foremost experts in the fields of robotics, microwaves, low temperature physics, and someone whose work can only be described as cyber necromancy. Together, these leading scientists developed a revolutionary weapon like nothing before. Mega Godzilla! Sure, technically this isn't the first Mega Godzilla we've seen, but it's certainly the deadliest and the most unique. So much so, it was given its own distinct name. Kiru, a combination of kanji meaning machine and dragon. Hear you? Sounds lame. I'll stick with Mega Godzilla, thank you. Standing 60 meters tall and weighing 40,000 tons with full gear, this badass cyber monster is loaded with all sorts of weapons. Rocket launchers, rail cannons, grappling wires, spinning drill hands, a battery ram jetpack, and even retractable Assassin's Creed blades with an extra zap. And just like Zilla himself, Mega G fires laser beams from his mouth. This twin Mazer cannon is twice as powerful as the Mazer guns that successfully killed other non Godzilla giant monsters. Kiru is certainly skilled in melee combat and is surprisingly athletic for its size. Look at it go! However, with its enormous arsenal, it is far better suited to long-range strikes. Like with its ultimate weapon, the Absolute Zero Cannon. Damn! So it's like a super ice beam? As the name suggests, it unequivocally brings its target's temperature to absolute zero, or zero degrees Kelvin. But this beam isn't just freezing its target, it's literally destroying all of its existing energy at once. A practically impossible feat of physics. This results in crushing the entire target from within at an atomic level. Oh my god, Zilla! Uh, speaking of which, Kiru is actually built around the skeletal remains of the original Godzilla, giving them all the size and strength of the King of the Monsters. See, this is why I love cyber necromancy. It, it's fascinating, reanimating skeletons with technology. Actually, I just got an idea. To the lab! Oh, Wiz, come on, it never goes well. Let your father rest in peace. I'll bring him back, I swear it! I just want him to say that he's proud of me. <laughs> you guys thought I had father issues. Well, come back next week for Wiz's inevitable breakdown and the full episode of Dragon Sword vs. Mechagodzilla. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and I will see you on my next reaction. This is the Montre Black. Peace.